Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 41. So I told you yesterday when we were creating the kids coloring page, I had something more for you. Today, we're gonna create a kids listing agreement. So I've actually already created a template for you. Your first step in this challenge is to actually go to kwconnect.com and log in and then click on the magnifying glass and you wanna look for the KW Kids Listing Agreement. So you're gonna get a list of content available there and as time goes on, more content will come in, but feel free to click on documents if that makes it easier. But this is what you're looking for, the KW Kids Listing Agreement. You wanna click on this document and then you're gonna have the opportunity to download it. So you would just click on download now, you'll see a version of it then you would click on download to put that onto your hard drive. Okay, so you've got that downloaded. Next step we're gonna do is go into designs. So this is actually a PDF, and in designs, we actually have the ability to edit PDFs. So if there's something that has been created or something you've created that you want to kind of put your stamp on, you can do that by clicking on the plus sign. We're gonna go into prints, click on next it's going to bring up all those print templates but just like yesterday we're going to go into the my designs tab and this time instead of starting from blank we're going to import a pdf file so it says click or drag or drop we're going to bring in the pdf we want to make edits to and click on open you'll see at the bottom right the system will start working and depending on the file and what's included in the file it may take a little bit of time for that pdf to come in but you can see ours came in pretty quick. Typically, the first thing you have to do is click on the three dots and click on fix. It's gonna ask you what unit of measurement do you want to use in this document? And I always do inches and click on continue. And then you can see here is that document ready to go. Now, typically, so I'm gonna double click it and open it in the editor. Typically, when you bring in a PDF, it's not gonna be perfect. Okay, so just a heads up, it's typically not 100% perfect. Um, what I usually do is, especially if there's a lot of content with regards to kind of text boxes and things like that, um, I'll use Microsoft Word to copy the content out of the typewriter, put it into Word, and then if it's not formatted correctly, I'll actually remove the content, put a new text box in, and then paste it in. So I'll show you what that looks like here. So right now we've got some spacing content that looks a little weird. We've got that funny... Um, symbol there so i've already copied this content into word right so you can see here's that content there so i'm going to come back in and i'm actually going to click on the typewriter and let's remove all of this right because some of that was formatted weird some of it just looked weird i'm going to click on save changes and then i'm going to input or enter a text box that's body text and i'll go ahead and put it right here and I already know that this font is 15 Lato. So I'll double click up here and type in 15. So it's the right size. And then I can click on the typewriter, go back into Word, and I'll bring in the stuff that I pasted, right? I've taken out all the formatting and all the spacing. I'm just gonna copy that and then go back to designs and put that back into the typewriter. So there we have that. So I'll save the changes. It's gonna put it all in one column there. Let's stretch it out. Uh, also on the original template, I used line spacing of seven. So you can come up here to the top right hand corner and do line spacing and move that out to seven. So there we go, we've got that in. Now I can come in and I'm going to find that second box that I copied. So let's put in another text, body text. We'll drop it in again, right about the same spot. We'll make it 15. And then we'll bring in the top of the checklist. So let's click on the typewriter one more time. Let's go into Word. Here's the top of that checklist. I'll copy that, come back into designs, drop that into my typewriter and click on save changes. Then let's move it over and then go to format it with the same spacing. Again, seven on the line spacing. We'll move it over just a little bit here and then I need to go into the typewriter and make sure that I put a space in front of each one of these so that everything lines up appropriately. So let's see, uh, maybe I need a little bit more spacing there. There we 
go. And we'll go back to typewriter. Let's just give it one more space and see how that lines up. Lines up a little bit better so that I don't. And then you can see this track mud or dirt on the carpets box right there. That's not lining up correctly. So I'm just going to come into the typewriter on that text box. And I'm going to remove that out. Actually, I can, and I take it back, I can actually move this over, right? So here's that text box. And then I've got the one for track dirt. That's behind this one. And it's just a matter of getting the right text box and then lining it up. So actually, let's just move that back in because that one didn't work. Click there, line that back up. Typewriter, track mud or dirt, get rid of that save the changes and then we'll just come back into the typewriter here and put that back in. So that way you've got it and it takes a little bit of time right to kind of get this all formatted so it looks clean. Um, the uh, don't track, let's see if we enter that and then space that over that formatting should look a little better and then we'll just drop it down just a little bit. So there you go, that's all clean, looks good, keep my room neat and clean at all times, make my bed every day, wipe my feet, clean up all my toys, put away. I've got that weird symbol there, so let's click on that, go into the typewriter. For some reason, FT gives a weird symbol in this font. So that's all done. Now I can just come down to the gift card columns here and basically take that out, save those changes. And here in a second, we're gonna go in I've already changed out my name, but you would want to go in on the template and make sure wherever it said your name that you change it out to be your name, right? Actually type in your name and don't just leave the your name. That should be pretty self-explanatory. But that's it. Pretty quick and easy. I've just come through. I've changed a little bit on the formatting. Again, if the text gets wonky, don't be afraid to come into the typewriter, copy the text paste it into Word, right? Take out all the formatting in Word and then recreate a text box and drop it back in. So kind of an easy way to make that work if you're having any formatting issues. I could always come back in. Let's move that down just a touch. And there you go. So now we have our kids listing agreement. This is a great tool to use when you're going on a listing appointment with children. Um, obviously, you can give them a reward for being a part of the process of the sales process and help the parents out by getting them to buy in as well. So that's it for today, guys. Day 41 of the 66 Day Challenge 4.0, creating a kids listing agreement using designs and the edit PDF tool. Hope you're all doing well. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.